What's going on guys? Jim the Game Guru. Let's do some Astra Aqua Kitty today. I've played the first one a long, long time ago. I actually liked the first one, and the first one was kind of set up a, like a, it's kind of like a Defender. I don't know if you guys have ever played Defender of the game, where it's very arcade-like, where you kind of go through and you try to shoot aliens and make sure they don't take your, your, your people up and out of the atmosphere. A uh, very very crude game. It was very back. It was, it was back in the Atari, Atari days, and absolutely enjoyed that game. And Aqua Kitty UDX was a game that was very very similar to that, but you were in the water with a lot of submarines and stuff. So now they lately they've come out with the second game on the Switch uh, from Tiki Pod, and they called it Astro Aqua Kitty. And in this one, basically, you're you're still in the water, but you're kind of out of space in like these asteroids that have water inside of them. Well, we'll go through here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It, 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 this game is a shmup. It's a shoot 'em up game. I've already played a little bit on this first slot. I'll go in the second slot. I'll start, I'll start a new one. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new game and I'll put it on a kind of more of a normal difficulty on regular. That way it's kind of easier to go through and I can show you guys. So you have multiple uh, pilots so you can, you can actually choose from you have like a, a heavy pilot and with all these different pilots there it's just a, a different trait and so you have a heavy scout chaos and fighter so the heavy is more on it's got less speed and there's more armor with the scout you're gonna have less health but more speed chaos is you know it's a lot less health but the recharge on the weapon seems to be higher and fighter what is that fighter has a little bit on repair and and recharge okay uh so i'm gonna stick with the heavy i think and then maybe for the engineer now the engineer will give you additional abilities where you can have a way to repair your ship give you it'll provide you more health more recharge it's more about your ship's attributes than it is the actual attacking and damaging uh, what's gadget here? Health repair, battery charge. Let's just do a, a heavy and gadget. I do have it on experienced, I think, on my other slave slot. And let me tell you, it is experienced is tough. It is really, it, it's it, it's a challenge. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this one on regular, so we can kind of go through it easier, so I can show you what the level look like and how the gameplay is. Uh, and then you can choose whether or not you want a normal gameplay where you'll actually have save slots. And you can save or a permadeath where, well, if you die, you have to start all over. Now, I like on this one how they've, they've, they're, so Tiki Pod is starting to branch out a little bit. They're starting to create more of a story behind the game. And I really, really like Aqua Kitty IP. I think the IP is, is very, very cute. And I think they can take this further and as they keep creating different versions of the games. Uh, okay, so this guy's gonna start off. He's gonna say this is where our, our target sector is. It's kind of an asteroid belt, um, and he just tells you basically there's liquid in there. So here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basically eight asteroids that are gonna have water you can go into. So we're gonna go to the first one with drop site. So it's, it's gonna go through like a really quick tutorial. And it's just, you know, hey, hey, how do your weapons work? And you press A to shoot. They did smooth out the graphics a little bit on this version um, compared to the, the UDX one. The UDX one was a little bit more pixelated. Okay, so it's going to go to ZL to go to inventory screen. You can equip new weapons. Yep. So what is this? This is a plasma gun. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. The top right is what your stats are for your your sub, and your top left are kind of it just indicates the stats of whatever item you're highlighting. On the bottom left there, you have your weapons you can choose to have in your A and B slot. Uh, so right now I have the plasma gun and the plasma cannon, and then later on you'll get like the devices that you can actually put on the left side that that will give you special abilities like repairing your ship, uh, giving you extra health boost or whatever. Then on the right side is your ship upgrades, the bottom right there, where you can increase your health, armor, and energy. So in the very first Aqua Kitty UDX, they didn't have any of this. They didn't have this, um, just tell me I can activate the switch there. 
they didn't have any of these like special traits that you can upgrade your vehicle or your sub and so they, they've taken this one to the next level oh let's dock it says so now, now it's going through a thing where it's saying hey you can dock and then you can go ahead and, and, and purchase stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase I'm gonna purchase this and then that way I can go over here I'm gonna go ahead and equip it and here what I've done is I've added an extra armor layer with this item that is now in the devices tab section okay can I end up actually increasing any of this probably not right no what is this here uh, faster health regen okay let's do that too there we go so now we got faster health regen let's go ahead and save and then she's gonna open the door and we'll go out uh, welcome to our base of operation as a commander I have important matters such as mission status and snack inventory levels I absolutely love the way the characters look and it's gonna tell us you know about hey you have a map so now you have a map you can actually navigate your your area your asteroid that you're in and take a look around and see where you can go so if I hit ZL now there is actually a map you can always go to your inventory or your skills at any time so every pilot and engineer will have skills that you can end up unlocking later on and when you level up you'll have skill points and you can apply those skill points to these skills in order to purchase them or basically unlock them and then that will actually bind to a specific button on the controller so if you unlock one of these pilot abilities it's usually it'll bind to Y because A and B are your, your two shoot buttons and then maybe one of these will actually bind to X too because I don't think any X is anything right now okay so as you see a very typical shmup like with the vehicle the way you move if you press L1 you'll actually move your ship around like this is how you turn back and forth and so even though I can I can move left as my sub is this way it will actually be a lot faster if I turn around so anytime I turn around it moves quicker uh, so what we're gonna do here so let's go over here open up the switch there will be quests so as you go through there's gonna be quests that you can find with certain people they'll say hey I need something like this this person right here is gonna tell me I'm gonna need batteries right yeah my batteries were stolen please return them so I can restore power to these doors now the game is very very simple yeah it's like you bet the game is very 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 simple even though there's like, these quests and um, the map is bigger and they they've extended this game way beyond what UDX was because uh, UDX had a very very small playing field and you just kind of go back and forth but in this one it, it, they've actually gone up beyond that um, expanded pretty decently it's not a ginormous asteroids as you get to every single asteroid oh, what am I doing here um, but it is a bigger playing field than it was on the first game uh, these guys are so easy to kill compared to the, like, the experience difficulty level because that was brutal I absolutely I mean I I absolutely dig the IP the aquacrit it, it's just I, I love the enemies I love the way these guys that they, they made the pilots look I like how they've extended it actually to a point where you have pilots and quests and stuff but even though they've done that, the game is still very, very simplistic. It's it's not going to be anything that is revolutionary by any means. If you if you enjoy shmups, you may enjoy this game. I enjoy, like I said earlier, I, I did enjoy the first one. I still think they can take this game to a whole new level, though. Uh, okay, so I need to find two pilots. So here's another mission. I've got to find two pilots to operate this big drill. Okay, no problem. All right, let's go find those batteries. Eventually, I would love to see them make this game, make a ginormous open world that had all these different characters, and and actually have them ex like make unique characters instead of being somebody like, hey, um, this is a heavy or a chaos or whatever. They would actually have names, and there would be a story, and there would be a ginormous open world. Um, I would, I would, I would. I'm hoping that eventually they'll end up taking this IP to that direction. 
Alright, so I need to get these batteries because I can't open the door without the batteries. Every asteroid has a boss too. The boss of this one is not very tough, obviously, because it is a uh, only the first asteroid. Oh, I just need one more. Oh, there we go. All right, I found them all. Cool. So now, get, now the door power is restored. Now I can go find the other pilots. Okay. Crabs infest this hangar. Halting construction work. No problem. We can clear out. Okay. So now I, I got to clear the crabs out. You're gonna find pe like different people you can pick up, like either pilots or um, or engineers or. I guess they call them more mechanics instead of engineering when you're picking these people up. And then you'll have to transport them to different places in order to do certain things like repair doors or transport items or navigate special machinery. Uh, so here is, oh yeah, I forgot about my secondary gun. Your secondary gun will have a charge. You see that blue bar at the very top with the kind of the electric symbol? That is your charge for your secondary weapon. I might be able to get some kind of, uh, maybe a level up here soon. I'm not sure. Alright, so we got to clear all these dudes out here. I like the graphics. I dig it. It does have that, you know, kind of definitely an, a, more of an indie game look to it. But, I mean, I like the fact that it's got, they've, they've got at least some kind of glowing, good textures and glowing um, lights and stuff. I'm going to switch this. Alright, so now I should be able to pick this guy up. Okay, they departed. Hey, great, I'll hop on board. So he's going to hop on board. I think he's one of the pilots. Let me go over here and save real quick. Saving is fast. Performance is good on this game. I have not had one single hiccup yet on this game with any kind of frame rates or anything. And I shouldn't because it's a very simplistic game. And as you get further down, deeper into the levels, whoa, you're going to encounter a, a bunch of dudes. And it will actually be, it can actually get pretty challenging. Especially if you play it on a little higher, like the experience difficulty or further. So Plasma Repeater, I have no idea what that gun is. Let me, I'll take a look in a second. Let me kill some of these dudes here. Ooh, a diamond. You do get currency of those diamonds, and whenever you get those currencies, that will allow you to, to buy additional items. Oh, you leveled up, but this does not make you automatically stronger. You need to go to the beacon, and I can show you how you do that. Okay. Is there something in here that I need? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the other mechanic. All right. Now, we can't drill through, so we're taking an extended tea break. Do you... All right. We do. Hop in. We'll explain on the way. Okay, so he's hopping in. These, these other little kitties here will just kind of give you additional information. Uh, later on, when you get into the other levels, you're going to have more additional cats that are actually going to give you additional quests beyond just giving you a little information. So we hope to strike milk, but so far the pumps are just bringing a pale sludge. Oh well, it was worth a try. So like a lot of these cats here in this level are just going to give you some just nonsense that doesn't really matter but later on in the other asteroids when you get to those a lot of those guys will actually end up having either a quest or having something to do with opening up certain areas the music is good I like the music it's I mean I can't complain about the music at all because it's it's got a great beat to it like this electric beat, which is really cool. So now I brought back these two pilots, and they're going to go ahead and dig through the rocks. Right away, guys. However, is there a problem? This machine needs external wireless power. Transfer energy to it by keeping close behind. Okay. So I got to stay right behind it, so that way the drill can work. Yeah, it's super cute game. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of shmups. I always have been. Okay, all done. We'll just hang here for a bit and eat snacks. Okay. But yeah, it, it's it's just such a waste that they have all these cute little cats, cats and stuff. And that they haven't... Um, I'm working on a new type of walker vehicle, but need some rep 
parts to help make the legs. Slick rig, how can you find what you need? Okay. The dead house could be large robo crabs. Okay, so this is where we need to get uh, crab legs for it. Okay, so we gotta find four crab legs. And there's nothing there. Okay. So if I go to my map, uh, a lot of times they'll tell you on the map where those are. Let's see. Yeah, so there they are. So those little, like those little red dots on the map. That's where a crab carcass is. This game does go for 15 bucks on the eShop. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really worth $15. I do definitely think it's worth like, like a price tag of 8 bucks. So if it ever drops on sale to like $8, I think it's, it's a good pickup then. But uh, $15 is, is kind of um, it's kind of pushing it, I think, for this title. Wow, I'm picking up all these other weapons. Let me see if I can find this other crab. Yep, it's right up here. There we go. I picked up a one of those legs. Your quest items are always going to be in the bottom right. So the bottom right there is just, it's just times one. That means I found one of them. Oh my god, I'm going to die here if I'm not careful. So even in regular difficulty, you could end up dying if you don't pay attention. Oh no, 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 no. I need to make my way back. I'm going to go ahead and save here. That should give me a full energy. Yep. Uh, let's go to... Oh, yeah. When you level up, you can spend gems to upgrade your ship. So here we go. We'll go ahead and upgrade our ship. And when you get a skill point, you can spend it, basically, on one of these. So what is this guy's ability? Create spinning beam blades which damage enemies. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, ooh, armor. Your ship armor by 25%. Let's go with the energy blade. So yes... Go ahead and unlock, and that is set to Y. As you can see, the Y button on the controller is now going to use energy blades. That skill is a rechargeable skill. So once you use it, you have to wait till it recharges all the way before you can use it again. So I'm going to do... What am I going to do? Let's do some more health. Do I have any, any extra dough for this? Um, now you see like, the numbers where your items are. You see that 1, 2, and 1? Those are, that's the level of the item that you can equip. So obviously the higher the level, the better. You can't, you cannot equip an item that has a higher level than your sub level. And my, my sub level right now is at two. So I can pretty much equip any of these because they're at two. Oh, is this torpedo two? Ooh. Yeah, I might do this one. Okay, so I got torpedo two. And I don't know if I can sell. You can get rid of items by holding X, and then eventually a thing will say, do you want to recycle, and it give you money back for that. Uh, what am I going to do here? So let me go ahead and unquick the plasma. I'm going to equip the torpedo, and this is what, a plasma gun. I think I might unequip that and equip this for this, the spread gun for my primary. And there we go. So we're good. Now what does this do here? This is what... Uh, oh wow, okay, it, for faster ener energy generation. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go take the map. Oh, yeah, I need to go back. Uh, actually, no, I'll just go this way. I can still go this way. Help something attacked us and we had to flee our drill site. Uh, the walk can take. Well, no, let me, let me go back to here. I want to get the crab leg stuff because I want to finish that quest so I can show you. Now some guns will have like their energy is really weird. So the torpedo you have that little purple bar at the very bottom and you also have the energy blue bar. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I wish they were a little bit more consistent and say that all the weapons have to use the blue energy bar. And then once, you, once something is completed a little green exclamation point will be above that Cat, they gave you the quest. Oh, super. These will do nicely. Oh, they give me a yummy reward. Let's do the... S Ooh. We'll do the plasma shotgun because it might be bigger than the one that I... Or better than the one I have. No, it's not. Of course not. Save. Now let's go ahead and fight that boss. So one thing that's nice is you can take your time with this game. 
You can grind away and keep leveling up if you want. I wonder what this... Oh, that's what the energy... what his skill looks like. And you can see how it... What the... Is that thing eating the drill core? Strange looking bug. Let's see if we can swat it off. Now this boss is going to be... Obviously this is the first boss, so this will be really, really easy. Well, like I said before, I like how you can take your time in this game and level up if you need to level up. Or you can go as quickly as you want and then have a challenge. Because you won't be fully leveled up. So then when you come across harder guys, they're actually pretty difficult to beat. And it's got four different difficulties, so if this is way, way too easy, just pump it up and you'll definitely have a challenge. I mean, I'm having a challenge right now in the experienced difficulty. And I think it's actually a really, really good challenge. Whoa. And now I can't shoot again. I don't know what the deal is. My turb, my, my uh, torpedo. Oh, my energy's low. That's why. The the one base gun. I can't remember what the the gun is called. What is that? The plasma gun. The nice thing about that is that it doesn't deal with that energy crap. So if I have two big guns, I have a problem with energy. So I'm gonna take off the plasma shotgun. And I'm going to go back to the plasma gun because now I can go ahead and shoot again. See how you can shoot and not worry about energy. So that is definitely one gun you want to keep around. You never want to get rid of that gun. One thing I think is really stupid though in this game is if I, if I press A and B right now at the same time. See what happens? Nothing. You cannot shoot when you have both buttons pressed A and B. And I think it's really, really dumb. I mean, you need energy anyway to use your secondary your secondary gun. So why not just allow us to shoot at the same time? I'm trying to destroy the guns here. And you gotta be very conscientious about your health because if you're way too free and you're like, okay, no one, nothing's gonna kill me. And you get way too lax, something will end up getting you. Because even here on regular mode, the guys are, are doing some damage on me. And my energy uh, bar is not full, so I can't launch as many torpedoes as I would like to. It's taking forever to recharge, my god. It keeps moving his stupid weak... Okay, that, that gun is gone, thank god. Whoa... Oh, I might try my lasers that my, my, ooh, my god, okay. I gotta be careful, because I could die here. I need my, enter my health to regenerate quickly. I want to get close to use my, my special, which is that, that energy, the energy beams, the, the, the things that go around. But I'm worried that if I get too close, he's just going to destroy me. Oh, no, that was a waste. We can, uh, no, 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 no. All right. <gasps> Dude, I keep getting nailed with that. I, I would have been dead by now on experience. Because they hit you like a truck on the hard, harder difficulties. He's dead. See ya. All right, awesome. Health. Ooh, a level three gun. Sweet. Well, I'm glad that's over. I'll spin up an exit warp bubble. Three, two, one. Just move into it, and when ready, we can jump to the next area. All right. So that takes care of that area. We go ahead and yep. And it, 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 when it tells you, hey, do you want to move on to the next level? You have to be really careful with that because you can't go back. So if you start to go to level two and you save in level two, you're there. You can't go back to the drop site or to a previous level. And there are times that maybe you want to stay at a current level just to level up a little bit. Maybe just fly around and shoot up some enemies. If you feel like you're still too weak to go on, or you can just move on to the next world, the, the next asteroid and brave it. 
They move fast. Anything we can help with? Okay, we have a new science lab rigged in the center of this asteroid. Head right and ask them. You can't miss it. So here's now where this asteroid is where these, these kitties, these generic kitties, start to become a little bit more less generic. And they're, they'll actually have better quests. Oh man. This green health thing, well, it basically gives you health. But you won't ever get one of those items during a boss fight. Boss fights, you have to rely on your... Oh man, I didn't want that to happen. You have to rely on your natural ship generation. And here we go. And then this is going to take us to over here where they're going to have a quest. This is, is this your fancy new lab? Sure is. We'll help us examine unusual bi biomechanical wildlife that's found in these asteroids. Okay, I'll show you how to get around inside. The main power is down again. Can you head to lab sector A and ask them what's going on up there? Follow up that rails. That rail upwards will give you uh, an escort. Okay. So in this one, it's gonna give. You, this one's gonna be a bigger asteroid than the previous asteroid, and it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff. You're gonna fly around. You're going to end up completing quests, opening up areas. And in this particular one, you have to kill like these sawfish that are in different areas, and they're hard as hell. Um, they, they, they've got like a lot of health to them and they attack violently and once you get the items for that then you're going to create some kind of and you get some pollen for a plant seed then with that you're going to end up creating some power and you need to power up these A, B, C, D's these little, these little areas here you're going to end up powering well you're actually going to power up A, B, C and then D is where you enter in to go to the center to face the boss and every asteroid is like that every asteroid is doing some quests, going around, completing things to open up certain areas, and then at the very end is where you face that boss, and then you go to the next one. It's not allowing me to pick up this pollen right here yet until I uh, activate that quest. But the enemies get a lot harder, I mean, you can, and they'll get way more, um, they'll start to become very uh, numerous, numerous enemies, and you can see like, this enemy right here, he's not really dying with that gun. Now I have to start using my stronger guns, and if I don't have any stronger guns, then it, it's you gotta play this kind of nickeling and dime thing, where you're trying to whittle them down and, until you get, until you beat them. But yeah, but this is pretty much it. There's um, there is later on when you get to some of the other asteroids, you'll you'll end up encountering some bad guys, and I still haven't gone further enough into the story to know what they are, like who they are. And what they're doing but there was this one scene where I ended up finding some kind of rabbit with a with a patch on his eye and he was like and I guess he was trying to get something secretly but I hope that that actually ends up opening up to a bigger boss like an actual character who's like a big boss that we have to kill because that would be really really cool but yeah but this is Aqu Astro Aqua Kitty uh, it is on Nintendo Switch and it's actually a pretty good game. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, is it worth the $15? Probably not. But if you end up, if it ever drops on a sale, I would definitely buy it for eight bucks or something like that. Maybe you know, six or eight dollars. I think it'd be a great. But especially if you like shmups. If you like shmups, um, it's it's actually a pretty pretty cool game. I liked the first game and I really liked how they continued with this one and, um, and I can't wait to see what they end up doing later on with other titles as they kind of expand this Aqua Kitty universe. But yeah, that's it. So uh, I am out of here. I just wanted to show you this game. It just came out. so. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, please like it. And if you let me know if you if you want to see more gameplay of this game, um, I'm I wasn't gonna dive too much into it because it's it's just a shmup, and most shmups you don't really have the same kind of gameplay throughout most of the levels. But if you guys want to see more of this, just let me know. But anyway, I am out of here. I am Jim, the Game Guru, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.